One man is dead, stabbed to death, and the front man of a defunct punk rock band is in jail, accused of murder. It happened outside an apartment complex in Studio City, and that is where Trisha Takasugi is live with the investigation. Trisha. Well, Jeff and Susan, we don't know whether Anthony Lovato actually lived here or was just visiting someone, but it's behind these security gates that police believe he did use a pocket knife to kill a man in the parking lot. Punk rocker Tony Lovato walks out of a Studio City apartment complex in handcuffs. He's suspected of stabbing to death a Cathedral City man there early this morning. Mr. Lovato is alleging that the victim accosted him and assaulted him first. Uh, at some point, Mr. Lovato uh, produced a knife and uh, the victim was stabbed. And this was the second time police had gone to the Bluffside Drive address responding to an altercation. There were some uh, earlier incidents in the evening uh, involving, involving Mr. Lovato and this common friend. Um, police were involved, there were no arrests. Investigators say the stabbing took place about 8 o'clock in the morning in the building's underground parking lot. Outside, two women tearfully console each other as the 25-year-old victim is rushed to a local hospital where he later dies. The 26-year-old Lovato, seen here with blonde hair in this music video, is the lead singer of the punk band Mest. But Lovato could end up regretting his actions on this day and find himself behind bars for a long time, even though police say he's been very cooperative. He did, in fact, uh, call the police, call 911 after the incident, uh, and um, remained at the scene and actually surrendered himself to law enforcement. And he has been booked uh, for criminal homicide. Anthony Lovato was booked tonight, and he is being held on a million dollars bail. Now, the victim has been identified as 25-year-old Wayne Hughes of Cathedral City. We don't know exactly how the two men knew each other, and police are not telling us whether or not jealousy may have somehow played a role in this homicide. Live in Studio City, Trisha Takasugi, Fox 11 News.